guys, how are you today? Today's video is going to be on elevating one style. You guys know me as the girl who likes to wear rock outfits as much as possible, or at least try to rock what I wear as much as possible. But sometimes I have to follow the rules, and when I have to follow the rules, I try to do it in a way that works with my personality and also helps me stay within the lines that rules or conventions dictate for certain occasion. It really does help me achieve what I want most and that is a favorable opinion with the person or group that I have to communicate with. First thing that I do is I make sure that I wear the same color from top to bottom as much as possible. This is called monochromatic palette. It is so much more interesting when I have to be somewhere where I need to be taken serious if I only wear one color. As much as possible, I try to stay away from wearing all black because that does have a connotation of going to a funeral and where I need to be that I need to be conventional it's not usually in artistic places where wearing black means you're an artiste but it would rather be taken as I'm going to a funeral therefore I don't wear all black when I go to these places but rather I wear something like all navy that is the perfect color for conventional situations likewise I try to keep everything simple classic and fuss free as possible therefore no blings no sequin no rhinestone attached no fuchsia or bright yellow or bright aqua don't get me wrong girls i love those colors even though i wear a lot of dark colors because now it's winter in summer i tend to wear as many bright color as i can when it comes to conventional situation even in summer i won't wear those colors to those places but rather i will stick to beige even all white is fine if you guys have been following me for a while now, you know I love my stilettos. Give me four inches heels anytime, any day of the year. That's my one and true love. When I need to be taken serious, those get put away. Instead, I will pull out my ballerinas. These ballerinas have a little bit of a heel because then it shows that it just brings up the ballerina from being a comfortable stay at home kind of a ballerina to something that could be taken more serious in places where you want your style to show that, hey, I mean business here. One thing I've noticed that always works for me, and I don't know if it's in my head, and I know it's very old fashioned, is I always match my shoes to my purse. Why does it work? I don't know. But I've gone to places where they've taken pictures of us in a group, and for some reason, I'm the one who, even though I am dressed very simple, very classic, no bling, no nothing, I'm the one who always stands out, even if I'm sitting down. There's something that points to me, believe it or not, I think it's because my shoe and purse match. I just find that when the purse matches the shoe, it, for some reason, it just looks more curated. You guys know how much I love jewelry. I always have bracelets going up and down my arms. When it comes to times where I have to show who's boss, that's when my jewelry goes very dainty. By dainty, I don't mean anything romantic and filigree or anything of that sort. I like to wear sleepers, but they could be even pearl earrings, rings with engraving, a leather band watch or faux leather band watch. Also, it's much more, in French we say recherché. It's as if there's always something there. There's much more luxe and this type of bracelet that don't jingle and jangle up and down your arm which by the way it's my favorite sound when it comes time to be taken seriously get rid of the jingling jangling bracelet and just wear one good sturdy bracelet Another thing that really works is simply popping the color of your jacket or of your shirt. It's incredible how many times I had to go to a meeting and all I would do is pop my color up. Guys, I swear. And right away, I was taken as somebody much more serious than my position called for, only because my color was popped. Another way to also elevate your style, and again, this for me always works when I go to restaurants. I take my jacket and I drape it over my shoulders. I don't know why, but suddenly people pay more attention to me. 
this works for me in meetings all the time is as soon as I sit down in my meeting, even though I have my collar popped already, I roll up my sleeve. That means I mean business here. We're not joking around. I'm the leader. I know what I'm talking about. We do as I say. And let me tell you, it really works. Try doing that in your next business meeting. When it's your turn to talk, as you're talking, just roll up your sleeve. Talk and roll up your sleeve and see what happens. I've always been a rebel, but when I have to follow the rules, I follow the rules so that I get what I want. Well, this is it for this video, my friend. I hope it was something fun for you to watch. <laughs> I don't know if you learned anything because at this age, we pretty much know how to play the game, but you never know where you can learn a trick here or there. Or you might not realize that you were doing something all this time and you were elevating your style without even knowing. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in my next video. Gros bisous. Mwah.